Now let's go with the next fact or the theorem we need to learn here. It says congruent arcs of a circle subtend equal angles at the center. Now, what exactly is talking about? What are you talking about? Congruent arcs. So if I say that the circle is cut at these two points, we know that this piece of the circle is called arc and it's called minor arc here, that's called a major arc. Now he says let's say that's arc PQ and congruent means their lengths are equal to another arc in the same circle. So let's say the length of this arc is let's say 7.2 centimeters. All right, so if I have another arc somewhere here, that's A and I am cutting this arc at a distance of like say 7.2 again, so let's just B. So what is the length of this arc here is 7.2 again. That's how exactly it means by arc PQ is congruent to the arc AB, it means their lengths are equal. So now, what happens uh, if at all I say that the arc PQ subtends an angle at the center, it means if I join the point P to the center, and if I join the point Q to the center again, it makes an angle at the center. Let's say this angle is equal to, let's say it's like 105 degrees. All right. So when I see on the other side, the arc AB of the same length here would also substitute the angle at the center, and let's say that guy is this much. I'm joining point A, the starting part of the arc, to the center, and the end part of the arc to the center again, so that's how it is, and this angle will be 105 degrees, so exactly what the statement says. So how do I call this if I name this to be O? I can write the angle POQ will be equal to the angle AOB, AOB, and that is a fact which we need to right now store it in our memory so that we can use this while doing problems in this year and coming years in mathematics. Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and see the whole thing in a graphic diagram where it, it can be seen very live that if at all I keep changing the length of the arc, the angle keeps changing, and when I see that these two arcs are equal, that angles will be equal. Let's check this out with the graphic diagram. Okay guys, now let's come back to the graphic diagram and make this concept really clear to us. I can see two arcs here, the, the blue line, the blue arc that is DE, which is 3.66 and it subtends an angle of 41.92 at the center. Now we have another arc BC which is 9.73 which is bigger compared to this and it subtends an angle of 111.46 at the center. Can I say that the arc 3.66 is equal to this? It's not. I can surely see that this is a bigger arc compared to this, and of course it's substituting a bigger angle. Now what if I make this arc equal? So that's like 9, 3.66, it's a 9.73. Let me make the arc ED a little bigger. See what's happening, I'm making it more equal to this. Still not, I'm increasing the angle, uh, increasing the arc length to, it's 9.73, it is 9.36 still, uh, let me increase it more, I need 9.73. Alright, there it is, I can see it's 9.73. Central angle is 111.5 and this is also 111.5. Okay, we can neglect the second digit here. So it is 111.5 degrees and 111.5 degrees, pretty simple. So I can be very clear now, if at all I have the arc length equal and the angle at the center would be equal. Now these are the arcs of the same circle and the arcs are called congruent because their lengths are equal. Let's take another example and check. If I move it till here and I can see that arc is 7.85 and the angle here is 90 degrees. So let's move this guy also and see what's happening. I have the arc length to be 7.85 again and the angle is 90. Beautiful. We understand this very clearly. Let's make it a little more a smaller angle and check. So let me take, make this guy to be 6 possibly. Alright, so it's like, alright. 5.99 and let's say 6.1 all right that's six right now so let's move this guy also and check whether i can make this length six and what happens to the angle at the center so i'm moving this guy i can see now right now it is almost six yes there it is and the angle at the center is 6.68.8 or 68.7 it's almost the same thing so we can understand very clearly now that the central angles are equal only if the arcs subtending that angle are equal. So because I can see that ED arc ED is uh, six units and I can see the arc length of BC is also six and they do subtend an angle at the center with 68.7 and 68.7. So that is a theorem guys, that's a fact. Now we know it, we know it manually like this on the board. We also know it graphically, dynamically. We could change the arc lengths and see that the angle at the centers are equal. So let's keep this fact in the heart and not forget it. All right, that's your memory. Keep that.